Hello, today we're going to walk through how to update a contact in TidyHQ using Zapier. So to start with, let's create a Zap. It is worth noting that Zapier does provide AI tools to help, uh, but for this example we're going to walk through all the steps manually. So our first step is the trigger, and I'm going to use a Google Form. I've already created a membership registration form with a few basic fields, as you can see here. Um, so let's select when a new form response uh, is received and link our Google account. And we'll use our membership registration form I've created. It will test our trigger so we have these fields to use for our later actions. So you can see I've got this Kevin Hart uh, response. Let's continue with that. And now we want to find the contact in TidyHQ. So let's search for TidyHQ and find a contact. Uh, linking your account. And I'm just going to use the email as what I want to try find contacts with and it will try and exactly match that email. And then I can update those other fields like the phone number for example. Optionally you can create a tidy HQ contact if it doesn't exist yet. I'm not going to check that for this example, but that might be something that works for your use case. I'm going to continue. I'm going to test this step. And wonderful, uh, we can see our contact from TidyHQ. We can see that we can search for that. So I'm going to continue with this and do another step, which is now updating this contact. So let's search for oops, update contact. Linking our account again. And now for the tidy assigned identifier for contact, we can use the information from the find contact step. So I'll search for tidy assigned identifier. And now we can fill in those other fields. So I can use the first name and last name from the field, uh, from the form rather. Um, last name. And the phone number as well. And in the additional info, I can add the comments. Let's continue. Let's test this step. And there we go, that's now been updated. We can check this on TidyHQ. If we refresh our page, you can see that the phone number has now been updated to what was submitted in that form. The last step is to create a name for this app. So let's call this update TidyHQ contacts from Google form responses. And that's it. All you need to do now is publish yours up. And now whenever a new form uh, response comes through from Google Forms, it will update uh, your contact in TidyHQ.